Hello guys, welcome again to another edition of your everyday computer software tips and tricks. My name is Flynn Dacon from Flynn Studios and today I'll be showing you an artificial intelligent writing assistant called Killbot that is going to help you write better, help you write faster and help you write more clearer. So whether you are a blogger, you are a content writer, you are a digital marketer, this tool is going to take your writing from a zero to a hundred real quick. So without wasting time, let's jump in. So let's head over to Killbot. All you need to do is go to your address bar and then type in killbot.com as you can see in your address bar here. And it will open a page up for you on your screen as you can see. So this is how the page looks like. Now, what can Killbot help you do as a writer? If you hover your mouse on the left hand side here, you see it's a paraphraser, it's a grammar checker, it's a plagiarism checker, co-writer, summarizer, citation generator. So I'm going to take you through how you can use these things to make your writing better and faster. Number one, how you can use Killbot to paraphrase your sentences. So this is how I can use the paraphraser to my advantage. I have an article here that says soccer today with tech. Now, I have a paragraph in here that I don't really like the way that it sounds. I want to change some of the words in there to make it more readable, make it more understandable. This is what I can do. I can just copy the paragraph in here, head over to Killbot, drop that paragraph on the left hand side, and then click on paraphrase. Now, Killbot paraphraser will try and switch up our kind of change some of the words in there to make the paragraph read more understandable to my reader. So on the left hand, on the left hand side, it says, with the introduction of modern technology, soccer has changed tremendously since the first game in 1876. Now look at the right hand side. It says, since the first game in 1876, when modern technology was introduced, soccer has seen a significant development. So as you can see, that one sounds more readable sounds more fluent so if what is generated for you is not to your satisfaction you can still go ahead and click on rephrase again and then it will try and do another rephrasing for you until what you have on your right hand side is to your satisfaction and this is really a great tool or a must have if you are a writer because it will help you write better and help you write faster and more clearer as well now there are other options that you can also play around with so you can see some of the modes in here there's the standard there's fluency there's formal simple creative expand and shorten now the disabled ones in here are for the premium version so if you are using keyboard premium you can do the formal simple and creative but for me i am using this um, because i'm using the free version i'm only allow, allowed to use the standard and for fluency so you can either go for either of them so once you are satisfied, you are okay with what Killboard has generated for you, all you can do is just click on or just copy what it has done for you, head back to your article and just paste it in there. So this is how you use the paraphraser tool in Killboard. Number two is Killboard Grammar Checker. So I'm still on the Killboard page right now. I'm on the Grammar Checker section. So I have pasted the same um, paragraph that I copied from my the article that, that I showed you previously and I've omitted some of the words. So I can even go ahead and delete some of the words also from there. And immediately you can see Killboard underlines where I have mistakes or where my grammar is wrong. So for, for example, it says soccer, all the world have improved. This doesn't sound right, so Killboard immediately underlines them just as you have in Microsoft Word, but I think Killboard does a better job at checking your grammar for you. So once you click on the underlined words, it, it tells you um, the missing pieces or the missing words in there, and you can just click on them for the for Killboard to correct them for you. So I'm just clicking on them, and Killboard is just correcting my, my grammar or checking my grammar to, to make sure everything is done properly. So once I've done this, once I, um, 
I read through and I think everything has been done correctly, I can move on with my text. So this is how you use the grammar checker in Killbot. Number three, Killbot plagiarism checker. Now for the plagiarism checker, what it does for you is it can scan your document for unintentional plagiarism against billions of sources. Now, unfortunately, this section of Killbot is for the premium version only. So you can only use this if you've actually bought the premium version of Killbot. Now, if you click on upgrade to start, it will show you the different plans for the plagiarism checker if you want to scan your document um, and avoid any form of plagiarism with your content or with your article. So as you can see, there are different plans in here for you. You can do an annual, semi-annual or a monthly plan. You can select which one, I mean, you'll be, able to, you'll be able to afford. And this comes in as a handy tool because if you write a lot of articles, if you want, if you are, if you are someone who does a lot of writing, um, bulk writing, you'd want this tool because it will help you um, be able to check your content for credibility because you don't want um, your sources or you don't want your content to also be found on other people's blogs or other people's articles. So this is a great tool that you can get. If you can buy the premium version, I advise you go ahead and get it for yourself. Number four is a co-writer cool tool in Killbot. So this is how you can use the co-writer cool section of Killbot to your advantage. So now let's head over to Killbot on the co-writer cool section in here. And in here, it says start new, but if you want to start writing a blog, there's a template for you to start with. Or if you're writing an essay or a research paper in MLA style or a research paper in APA style, it depends on what you want to do. So for me, let's just go for a blank project. Now I'm just starting about starting to write a new article. I've not started anything on the article yet, but I want Killboard to write to help me write this article. And this is what Killboard can do for you. First off, it says an untitled project, so I have to name my project in here that says technology in sports. Now when I come to the body or when I to start writing, it says start writing or search for content by clicking research. So when I hit, I just type technology in sports in the body. Now I want Killboard to help me write something about technology in sports. This is what I can do. Now on the right hand section here, you see there's research, there's notes, there's citations. Now if you go to research, it says search for topics. Now I can just input in here technology in sports and then just click search the web. So now Killboard as a co-writer it is now going to help me find articles that have, people have other people have written that pertains to technology in sports. And I can scan through all these research works and it can give me a fair idea of how I want to start writing my article and what I want the points I want to include in there. So you don't have to open too many tabs to, you know, kind of search research around the topic that you want to write about. Right in here in Killboard, you can do everything in here. So after I've typed in technology in sports, Killboard comes up with or brings in um, research works or research articles that other people have written. And I can read through these um, research works and it can give me a fair idea. So Let's just click on one of them to get content and Killboard will try and get the whole content for that article for me. Now this one seems to be taking much longer. Let's just go back. Let's sit on the first one, get content. 20 ways technology makes sports better. Now, if I want to read the full article, I can just click here and read the full article here. But let's just say I just want the highlights. I can also just click on the highlight and it will give me just some snippets of the article that i can read i don't need to go through the whole article to be able to get an idea of what of how i want to start writing my article so this is how you use the you can use the research section to help you write better 
Now there's a note section to if there are some things you note that you don't want to forget after reading those research papers, you want to note them down. Killbot will save everything in here for you so that you can come back to and not lose out on the ideas that, that the ideas that came up later. And then you have if you have any citations in there. Um, there are different forms of citations that you can go for MLA, APA, depending on what uh, if you are writing a research paper, your your lecturer or your um, tutor might have given you the style of um, reference and or citation you should use. So you can pick the one that you prefer from here. So the research, um, the co-writer section is a very great way to help you start. If you are if you are stuck, you don't know what to write. I encourage this section in here for you that you can use to make you write or generate more ideas about what you want to write about. So yeah, that's how you can use the co-writer section to your um, to help you write. Better. So the fifth one is the summarizer. So how does it work? So I'm back here on Killbot on the summarizer section. Now let's go to our previous article and let's pick a paragraph in there. So I'm picking this paragraph here, I'm just copying it, heading over back to Killbot and then pasting the whole paragraph in here. Killbot says this is 72 words and let's just say I have, I want to minimize the number of words in this paragraph. I want to reduce the number of words. Killbot can actually summarize this text and still have the meaning in there without distorting the understanding that I want my my readers to get from this from this paragraph. So let's just I'm clicking on summarize and let's see what it comes up with. So yes, as you can see, it's been able to shorten the words to 44 words, from 72 words to 44 words. And if you read both paragraphs, both sections, you can see that the meaning is still not lost, just that it's left out certain um detail that it thinks are not needed needed to really get the understanding in the paragraph so if you wanted to shorten it for the text to be a bit the summary length to be a bit um, longer you can do that keyboard will run through you can re-summarize again and then now from 72 words to now 51 words and what's what is interesting is you can go ahead and paraphrase the summary as well so just as we talked about the, the paraphrase at the beginning, after you've summarized, you can go ahead and even paraphrase what you've summarized, which even makes your um, improves upon the content of, of your article or of your blog. So this is how the summarizer also works for you. So the last but not least is the citation generator. Let's see how this works. So I'm back again on Killboss, this time to the citation generator tool section. And this is how the interface looks like. So how do we use this? So I've already um, searched for a few articles online about soccer in tech. Now let's just say I found, um, I picked a few info information from here and I want to cite this website as one of my sources. All I need to do is just click on this URL, go back to the citation section and then all I need to do is go to enter URL here into the, into the bar over here. And then I can just click on, make sure that the options in here are selected to the right option. So if you're referencing a book, a journal or a website, make sure that you put it on the right section. And all you need to do is just click on site. So Killboard will try and pick up this, um, website information, pick up all the publishing dates and all the information that you need to properly cite your sources. After you are okay with it, you can either, you know, add more um, details if you want to, but if you are okay with it, you just need to say save citation and it will save your citation to the rights in here. So you can do this as many times as you want and all your sources will be listed on the right in here for you. And after you are done, you can either download them as an MS Word, a bib text, or a CSL or, you know, or JSON file. So this is also a great tool to help you cite all the sources that you, uh, whether you're writing an academic paper 
or you are writing a blog or an article in, in which you need to reference one of your sources. So there you have it. This is how Killbot AI Writing Assistant can help you to improve upon your writing, to help you write better, help you write faster, and help you write more, more clearer content. Now, one more thing before I go, Killbot is a, is a great tool that you can incorporate into your Chrome browser or as a Chrome extension, as you can see on the left-hand side over here. So once you click on it, it will open a page for you where it will take you to the Chrome extension. Um, just clicking on it right now. It will take you to the Chrome web store where you can also integrate Killbot into your web browser. So no matter whichever website you are on, especially on any social media website, you can e Killbot can easily um, help you check your grammar, help you check any other thing that you need to check to make your, your content much clearer. And now heading back, you can also integrate it into your Microsoft Word, where it can also help you as you are writing in Microsoft. But a word of caution in here is that when you integrate Skillbot into either your Chrome browser or your Word, um, into your Word document, you might not necessarily get all the tools that you can get when you are on the main or on the actual Skillbot website. So that is one thing I would want you to take note of. So thank you very much for joining me. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video. And you can also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new tutorials that we are uploading very soon. So thank you for joining me. Stay safe, stay strong, and I'll see you again.